what's going on everybody welcome back to this episode of g4 outdoors today we are going to be doing an initial review on the toro time cutter bagging system well here's a little story about two friends that came together and we started up a youtube just to talk about whatever we're on a boat catching big bass and smashing them cats from review videos to just making you laugh because we got guns we got knives we got fishing we got hunting we got everything you like so hit that subscribe button we're in the outdoors doing things that we love we're talking guitars girls green grass and guns now this is just gonna be an initial review. All I'm gonna do is clean up the leaves that are around this area right here. Uh, the sun's going down on me, so I don't have the perfect opportunity to film for too long, maybe another 15 minutes. Uh, stick around for some more videos because I will be torture testing this thing. Uh, I wanna know how it stands up in really thick leaves, which we do have a lot of leaves right here. I'm gonna blow some leaves up into big piles. I wanna get back into some good grass. I want to see how this thing actually bags, how much it holds, if it leaks, if it's super dusty or anything like that. But preliminary testing, I'm going to start out on all these leaves. This is a, uh, I don't know what kind of tree, I'm not that kind of person. But uh, we're going to clean these leaves up right here and see how it does. <laughs> So one thing that I'm seeing is there's quite a bit of blowout on the discharge side. Now let me tell you, I do have this set up to four inches. So I'm gonna move over a couple of paths and I'm gonna move this down to three inches, close up that gap so that they're, to minimize the blowout, I can run over this two times and clean that up without a problem. But at four inches, that's a, that's a long way off the ground. There's a lot of room for leaves and grass to sneak out from under there. So that's expected and keep that in mind, that's at four inches. So I'm gonna drop the cutting height down just a little bit and see if that helps out over here.
It's hungry. Okay, so is the full bag the main culprit of this blowout? It's it's a possibility because it filled up really quick, but there is a lot of leaves here on the ground. <laughs> that filled up quick. Well, let's go see how easy this is to dump. So we did get a little bit dusty. I didn't, uh, I didn't notice any of that blowing out here and coming towards me or anything like that. But this thing filled up with leaves fast. I'll tell you what, with it filling up with leaves so fast, I would recommend mulching your leaves and then going back through and then bagging. You can store a lot more leaves in here once you mulch them up. So the tube is filled up. These bags are definitely filled up. They should just come right off of here. Very easy. The handle on the bottom. Easy as that. Now I don't know if you can see, I might zoom in on this to try and get a good picture of that. But these are, these are pretty much full leaves. So if you, were, if you were to mulch these up, you could fit a lot more in here. Wow. That is a strong piece of rubber right there holding that lid down. I consider that a good thing. That way uh, this doesn't pop off. That's a pile of leaves right there, I tell you. But like I say, this is just an initial test. And as you can see in that yard over there, it cleaned the leaves up really good. A little bit of blowout. I think if you can get that deck down, just a little bit more that will improve it even that much more and again that was leaves that i was doing so i you can you can if you run over that much stuff you can expect some blowout on pretty much anything of that volume uh later on and in some other videos coming up here very soon i'm going to be testing this out on grass a lot of grass to take care of out here so I will be testing that out on grass. Um, other than that, I'm just gonna be testing it out on some more leaves. Uh, light leaf cleanups, which in my yard, I have to do that. Uh, I'm gonna finish his yard up uh, with thick leaves and I'm gonna run back over that. I'm gonna mulch it and then I'm gonna bag it. So stick around for these videos, guys. If you like what you've seen so far, Guys, please stick around for some more videos because I am going to put this bagger through the test. If I've given you any helpful information, if I've demonstrated this product well enough in this one video alone, and understand that those were a lot of leaves, I uh, filled my bags up in five, six passes. This thing can handle it if you give it the right amount. If you dump these bags in the right amount of time, if you mulch them, then bag them, you're going to get a lot better results. So if this video helped you out, guys, please hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Head on over to the Toro Time Cutter playlist. Got everything you need to know about this mower. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. I will see you in the next one. I'm out. Monday, Monday Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday Thursday. Thursday. I just dream of fishing while I'm going through my workday. I listen to my boss, though he's driving me berserk. Eh? Damn it, I can't take much more because my brain is really hurting. And now the bank is always calling and I don't know what to do. And I haven't bought a crankbait since like 1992. But the bass are out there schooling.